Let's go! So if you're watching this video and you read the title, you know I passed the exam in two weeks. Now I'm going to tell y'all my exact secret strategy and study plan to do that, okay? Because it's like, what's the use of having the information if I can't share it? If you watch these other kind of videos that have like similar plots and stuff, you would know that everybody wants you to memorize acronyms, memorize port numbers, and it's like, it's so overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? And besides that, I still have a life. You feel me? I still have a life. So I had the, I'm working out every day. I did cut out social media. Also, I'm a YouTuber. So I was like, I had like plans meeting up with different girls and doing different challenges. Cause my channel is basically just me documenting my life from a middle class software engineer to a upper class YouTube millionaire. Okay. And I'm showing y'all all how like the journey of it, like the girls, the, the money, the success. That's, that's what all my channel is about. So this is one of the pillars in that journey. So if you're looking for a solid strategy, you come to the right video. Now, me personally, I had 90 days to do it, okay? So if you didn't know, I got laid off in, what, December, like right before my birthday. Like, it's the same too. It was a horrible birthday. It was a horrible Christmas. It's like, I got no job now. <laughs> Bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But back up on my feet, back up on my feet now. I got a job in July, so... On the offer letter, they were like, King JJ, you must get Security Plus within 90 days. So I was like, 90 days? Psh, that's a bunch of time. A bullshit? You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of time. So I, you know, I was, oh, it's a Robin. <laughs> get Security Plus within 90 days, right? And I was like, okay, that's a bunch of time. I can do this. But then I started procrastinating, you know what I'm saying? I, I was having fun with friends. I was uh, making YouTube videos. I wasn't focused, okay? So I don't recommend procrastinating like I did. But let's dive into the exact strategy that helped me pass this exam. So first thing first, I found this book, right? It's called Security Plus, Get Certified, Get Ahead, right? So I was, look, I was looking through this book, you know, it's right here. Look through this book. And one day I realized, hold up. This is the wrong fucking book. What the fuck? This is the SY0601 study guide. Let me see. See that? I'm, I'm taking the 701. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, okay? You idiot! And again, at first I thought I had plenty of time. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my job gave me 90 days to get it. Right? I thought 90 days. That's a lot of time to learn to get a certificate. You sure about that? But what I didn't realize is how much new information this is. I thought I had like a, a upper hand since I'm a software developer. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of did. I, like I knew and I got like an Azure Fundamentals um, certification. So that part of the test I got which wasn't even on the test, which was I was pissed. It wasn't even on the test. But it might, it might be on yours. It might be on yours though because every test is different. It, might, might, it wasn't on mine. Okay. I'm a full-time software engineer, and I have like experience with cloud computing, right? That is totally freaking different than cybersecurity. So no excuses, no excuse. Software engineering is not cybersecurity. It's not the same thing. I learned that the hard way. I thought I had upper hand. I did not. Okay, I did not. And I literally had no choice but to get it because if I don't get the certification, they threaten. Well, on, on the offer letter, there was like you'll get disciplinary actions, right? Whatever that, whatever that means. Like, they're going to either cut my pay or fire me out. I, I, don't, I don't know what it was. But, because I passed it, so I don't got to worry about it no more. Right? And also, I got friends that already have it. I didn't want to be the odd one out. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be that guy that either failed the test or doesn't have it at all. So, I finally got serious with three weeks left. Right? I found this Udemy course um, by Total Seminars. I ran through that course. And during that course, when it got to, like, the ending and, like, the practice exams, it was asking me questions that they didn't even, even teach me. Fuck. Why are you asking me this? You didn't even teach me this. Like, how am I supposed to know the answer to this if you didn't tell me this within the course? 
I don't know. I don't know the answer. I got to guess now. Or I got to look up something online about the answer. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was very entertaining. So I, I do suggest that because it's not just all BS. It's like Total Seminars makes it educational and entertaining. Okay. So if you're, if that's how you learn, I would recommend them. Um, Total Seminars. Um, it's on Udemy. But again, they got practice exams. Whereas like at the end of, at the end of every chapter, you get like a practice exam. Of like five, like five to ten questions. Some of those questions weren't talked about within that chapter. So it was like, this was pointless. I need to know this information. Why aren't you teaching me information? Teach me information. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's easy. Teach me information. So after I passed that course, I switched. I felt like I need to learn more, right? So I switched over to what everyone is recommending, Professor Messer, right? Professor Messer's course he had like a little training course and let me tell you that literally was one of the best courses i've ever taken on the subject this motherfucker don't miss no he's fucking good that motherfucker don't miss man he's good that course is way better than total total seminars hands down it was a game changer it gave me the foundation to start connecting the dots right it gave me those small those small keywords that are in the objective, the exam objectives. And I was like, okay, so that's what they mean by that. Okay. That's what, this is what they mean by this. This is the acronym for that. That's the acronym for this. And I was, I was starting to get it. I was starting to understand it. But there were a lot of challenges along the way. Because it was like, again, it's a lot to remember. And I have two weeks left. Well, uh, two weeks left until the exam. And it's a lot to remember. Acronyms and port numbers. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I still have dreams about port numbers. <clears throat> like, I literally have dreams of port numbers. And it's like I had limited time, too, because I was like, I refuse to give up on my routine, on my gym routine, because it's like, I feel like I can do both. Like, I can, I can figure it out. I can figure it out. I can do both. I can still work out at 7 o'clock and then study throughout the whole day. Study throughout the whole day. And then work out at 7 o'clock. Because it's only, it's only an hour. Only work out for an hour. So if I can't work out for an hour and, and retain information throughout the rest of the day, then I don't deserve this certification because I am an idiot, okay? What do I watch before I, um, when I was getting ready to take the exam and I was trying to find study material? This dude was like, hey, you might have to sacrifice your time. You might have to skip the gym sometimes. I was like, nigga, fuck you. Fuck your life! Bing bong! <laughs> you do not know me. You ain't talking about me. And also, I, so I had to ghost social media for two weeks. So, no videos, no reels, no TikTok, no updates. Completely silence. Silence. Which then hindered my growth on YouTube. Because I, was, I wasn't being consistent. So, it kind of... My momentum kind of diminished. So... I have to, this is like the video that's going to help bring it back up, hopefully. Hopefully. Help me, nigga. Help me. Hopefully. Bring that momentum back. The last week before the exam, I did five practice tests. So my test was on Sunday. I did a practice test Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, I did five practice tests. And eat, after each practice test, I went over the ones I got wrong and I wrote it down. Because I, I feel like, okay, if I got it wrong, then that's what I need to, that's what I need to um, look into. If I got it right, then it's already in my brain. I don't need to worry about it no more. Okay? And then I retook the test. So I got 100% 100, 100 on those. And I kept doing that every day. Now, this was a real turning point. Because I got in the habit of answering questions rapidly. And... A different varieties of questions it's like it wasn't just all on the same topic it was different topics each time so I was learning bits and pieces each day bits and pieces each day and also I was I was like gotta do it I started mem memorizing acronyms and memorizing port numbers wrote it down okay wrote it down once and went over it like every other day right 
the acronyms were kind of easy because it's like once you once you are using it within the practice exams, it's kind of like okay, it has to be this because it's not that. You know what I'm saying? It's mean time to repair. It has to be that. I didn't, and I kept forgetting if mean time to repair or it's mean time recover. But it's basically the same same shit. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> okay, RPO, RTO. Uh, the maximum maximum data loss, maximum uh, time. Yeah, maximum data loss and maximum time. So it's like it has to be one or the other, and it, it's not the other. But it's not about remembering the concepts it, to actually understand it, because it's like on the exam, it's like they make it very tricky. Make sure you read the question. Make sure you understand the question, like what they're asking, because they might they, they try to trick you. They try to trick you. Okay, and you don't want to be tricked because then you're going to see, oh, it could be this answer, but it could be this answer. No, it's look, they're looking for this answer because they said this. The night before the exam, I was super stressed. I couldn't risk failing because it's like, like I, I'm, telling, I'm telling you now, I was literally, if I didn't pass this test tonight, that night, I would have to pass it the next week or else I get disciplined. And I don't want to find out what that discipline was. So I needed for my job. I needed because my family was like depending on me. Well, not depending on me, but like they. Um, my uncle has it, so he was, he was like, if you need if you need help, just ask me. And I didn't ask for help, so if I would have if I would have failed it, he would have been mad at me. He was like, I told you, come to me if you need help. And I I, I didn't want that. My dad was like, my dad was like, um, hey, you read open the you read this book. I was like, no, dad, uh, it's a 601. He was like, it's the still the same shit. It's still the same shit. It don't change that much. I was like, okay, okay, dad, okay, man. Whoa, calm oh, down, oh, Jamal. Oh, oh. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> calm down, don't, don't get your belt. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I knew I was ready. I had the practice exams done. I studied. I remember some of the port numbers. I keep remembering 80 is HT. HTTP 443 is HTTPS Kerbos Kerber, Kerboso is 88 so fast forward to exam day I passed yeah! it was super stressful the UI is hideous it is literally the worst UI I've ever seen in my life it is so ugly that's so prepare for that Cause it's like it's so well compared to you, Demi. It is so ugly. I hated. I wanted to throw up. And I couldn't wear my do rag and a hoodie. She's like, sir, can you take off your two caps? I'm like, bitch, this is not a cap. This is a do rag. I had the little the blue do rag I always wear. And honestly, I'm surprised that I did well. Cause it was so short amount of time that I had was studying and exam prep. It was like I need to get this done. But if I don't get this done, I understand why. My method worked. It worked. I'm proud to say it worked. Now I'm gonna give you all the links in the description of everything of everything I used, so y'all can use it too. Um, and then we'll just hope. Let me know how you do. Let me know how you do, because hopefully this secret study plan is what helps you pass too. It helped me, and I think it was worth it. As we see, I got it. Bang, bang, bang. But here's what made the real difference, okay? I used the right study material. Udemy was great to start, but P Professor Messer is exactly what you need. So if you're, if you're hesitant on Professor Messer, or everyone's using it so you don't want to use it too, or because like some kind of ego thing, don't. Drop your ego, watch his videos, and get it done. And to be fair, to be honest, the total seminars one, I only picked that one because it was the shortest. It was like 24 hours. Now I was like, I can do this. I can get this done in one week. I can watch all these videos and I and I learn information. Bang, easy. So if there's other if, if there's another course out there that's better, maybe the the Dion training course maybe. If if he's better, then maybe go for that. But it worked for me. So two. Practice exams are essential. Doing five exams in the last week gave me the confidence that I can pass the actual exam. 
please, 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 please do not skip those. Do practice exams. Number three, find time without sacrificing your routine. Okay? You don't have to destroy your whole world just to get this done. I was not willing to give my workout and neither should you. Maybe maybe even going out. I think that may, that might be a little too far. Going out on a Saturday or something and getting getting drunk and stuff. But if that's what you really want to do and you 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 kind of earned it throughout the week, go ahead go ahead and enjoy yourself. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. Balance is possible. Okay? It's it's all it's all in moderation. It is balanced. And last, do not procrastinate like I did. Okay? Do not be me. Do not procrastinate and wait until you have uh what? 14 days left out of 90. You had I had 90 days. I waited till 14 days is left. So don't be like me. Get it done as soon as possible. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. Get it done. Last but not least. The playlist coming up next is a playlist that will help you be the better version of yourself. Alright? So check that out. Coming up next on the end screen. In the meantime, stay blessed. Stay loyal. Stay royal. We out. Bow.